And for the sake of creating content. Like, we're not actually going to plug this in. They're not actually going to see anything. It's story time. Lightning. I'll enjoy it. Okay. Wouldn't you like to hear about this? We're going to show photos, too. Sure. All right. You guys read the thumbnail. Let's talk about it. So, uh, this place, uh, we were actually here when it happened, but it got struck by a lightning head-on, pretty much. Um, there was a lightning bolt that came through the side of the building on one of the uh, light poles, and it basically backfed through the entire building and um, hit a couple of the... Uh, I can't say basically. Yeah, well, it did. <laughs> so, we actually had a... In this context, we're installing, we're replacing a switch that... Wasn't completely fried, but definitely had had some some issues. Um, we actually had a, a crew of cablers upstairs, uh, one of our crews installing, and uh, they were in the server room, which if you don't know has no windows, um, but they still saw a pretty bright white flash. And uh, yep, yeah, that was um, we had to get the fire department out here. We had the whole uh, crew yeah, on the that scene. It was a burning smell. It was. It was crazy, but yeah, lightning is a serious concern when we talk about uh, anything tech in Florida. And so 100%. we had a, kind of what happened here was there was a, a light pole outside. That ended up getting getting struck with uh, directly, and that went into the ground, and it fed into the main meter panel. And it not only did it bend the meter panel and make a huge hole in the concrete there and the stucco work, it also damaged the drywall inside and bent the framing of the wall. You know, we're yeah. talking about a massive, massive amount of electricity. Yeah. Uh, and Blew this, chunks out of the side of the wall like it was nothing. There it was, was like concrete laying everywhere. It was a pretty insane hit. It was crazy. Yeah. And uh, you know, one of the scary things about lightning when it comes to uh, technology is sometimes it will fry things, but one of the worst things with tech is uh, sometimes it won't fry things. And so that was the case with this switch that actually is in the library, because the library was the building that where, the, where, the, where we had the, where it was hit is uh, the switch was fine uh, for several weeks, but they would have random network dropouts. And we probably think it was a power supply issue. We think that took most of the, of the girth, but it may not have been because we actually installed uh, two cameras. We had a Flex and a G4 Pro that were mounted directly uh, outside. Uh, well, the, the, sorry, the Flex was inside, but they were basically next to each other. One was inside, one was outside. And the, the, four, the, the Pro was completely dead. Um, and that's because it was about 10 feet from the lightning strike. So just the electromagnetic radiation in the air is enough really to, to kill something like that. The switch, which was powering those two cameras, uh, was the one that saw the issue. So who knows if the lightning went through the power or if it went through the Cat 6. Fortunately, we did inspect the cabling. We didn't have any fried Cat 6 as far as we could tell. But this definitely did uh, uh, make us think about installing a technology in Florida. You know, something to think about if, if you're working with copper of any kind, that can conduct electricity. Just because it's, you know, not running high voltage doesn't mean that it, it couldn't in a pinch, right? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I mean, just because you guys ground something electrically, it doesn't make it immune to a direct hit. I mean, this building was pretty much, it hit the main meter. So everything that was pretty much attached to it, I, the breaker blew out like it was like cotton candy. Like the thing just went open and, we were actually lucky a lot of the receptacles in here didn't die. There was uh, some maintenance they had to do on a couple of them. But just because you have something electrically grounded doesn't actually make it 100% immune to a direct hit. I mean, luckily by the time it got to the other building, it dissipated. So none of the other... Still you know, saw a white flash yeah, in a room within a windows. <laughs> yeah, you still got to see some stuff. But electrically, everything that was a little bit farther away was still sound because it, it's all grounded properly. But... I mean, we're replacing the switch that was right next to it. I mean, it was properly installed, but just due to how close it was to the strike, I mean, there was nothing you could really do about it. We actually had a couple of cameras in the attic die too because when it came through, it blew a chunk of drywall actually out in the attic where the cable was, and it was just... It was insane. We'll throw some pictures up so you guys can kind of take a look at that. But um, it was it was one of the craziest things I've ever seen while being on the job site. It was pretty crazy to have. Yeah, I, I was in the gym that. and I saw a white flash. There were windows in there, so I just thought it was you know lightning outside. But it, it's you know I actually talked to a friend of mine who studies physics part time. He's a professor, and we we're trying to figure out what, what it was that they saw. And we think, uh, and if any of you guys know this, please do comment. But we think. 
what they, what the white flash that we all saw wasn't actually photons hitting our eyes necessarily. We think it was uh, electromagnetic radiation, which is also still photons, but not necessarily visual photons, hitting uh, the neuroreceptors in our brains, actually hitting the nerves in our brains and letting us see white, not actually our eyes seeing white because there was no windows. And so, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of scary to think about, right? Um, it's kind of like, uh, you know, using Wi-Fi to, you know, control a computer that doesn't have a Wi-Fi chip. Uh, so yeah. pretty scary stuff, but uh, definitely a, a kind of a, a cool experience to look back on. Yeah. And, and it definitely tells us a lot about electrical safety. Like we now are, when we do installs in Florida, especially in the summertime, we're, we have an app that will tell us if there's lightning strikes nearby, which again, sounds, you know, whenever you see people going in for lightning, it kind of sounds crazy, but I mean, it's always better to take your crew's safety into yeah. precautionary measures than, you know, you can always be proactive, but when something like that happens, it's, being reactive, you could already be in some serious trouble at that point. So and we think about safety, I think it's really important to think about things from a fundamentals perspective. So, you know, low voltage, uh, you know, the type of cable we run with, what, we, what is CAT6 wire? What, is, what gauge is that? It's like 20? It's like 22, 24, something, like, something that. like that. Yeah. So that is not specified to run uh, high voltage. And the reason for that is it simply is, is not it's not a large enough diameter to be able to do it in a way that wouldn't create a lot of heat. It's actually the amperage too. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that it couldn't, yeah. right? That's just the spec. And the spec is there for safety, but it does not mean that cat, you could run a light bulb off of cat six. Is it a good idea? No, but cat six can certainly handle uh, carrying electricity for a period of time. Just, you know, eventually it will cause a fire. But uh, from a fundamental perspective, it, it can conduct electricity and so, now keep that in mind when you uh, yeah think always about make sure too if you're very unsure of something I mean even as low voltage people we'll bring in electricians for you know if we need a 20 amp receptacle modified to be a 30 amp receptacle I mean we're probably pretty intelligent enough to be able to do that but you know for safety insurance and just generally being smart we would prefer to have one of our electricians actually come out and do that job for us to make sure that we're not forgetting something that, you know, they can test for. And, and we actually did that on, on this job. So we, um, you know, we actually, the fire department would come out because there was, there was some burning smelling. Uh, we didn't lose any APCs, fortunately, but the burning came from uh, uh, one of the mains was hit pretty hard, uh, one of the main breakers. And so we actually had an electrician come out and make sure the, the server room was safe before we went back in there because, I mean, electricity can do all kinds of weird things. If you, if you don't, if, if, that doesn't, if that sounds weird to you, just YouTube ball of lightning and your mind's going to be blown. But electricity can do all kinds of weird, funky things. And so, you know, we, we actually want to make sure that the, the room is safe because who knows, like the rack could be electrically hot, but sometimes. And so, um, you know, when in doubt, when it comes to electrical safety, there is no doubt. Take precautions. Uh, this was a, a very unique experience. I hope it doesn't happen again. Although yeah. looking back, uh, well, if it does, I hope we can get it on video because oh, that would be amazing. Honestly pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think you will though. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm still kind of trying to figure out. I haven't really got a solid answer, but uh, on why we saw white in a room with no windows. But I, I think it might be neuron related. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's important to ground things. But again, you know, if something like this happens. Uh, I, I, you know, it's important to ground things, but it doesn't really matter <laughs> when the lightning hits. Lightning is an insane Yeah, if you get a head-on hit, it's pretty much toast. Um, but this is also for you guys that do installs. Think about this. You know, in your contracts, you have a warranty. Make sure you have a clause in there that, you know, covers that acts of God are not covered under warranty because it does not matter how well we install a switch or a camera. If a camera is five feet from a lightning strike, it's going to die. And so these are things that you need to make sure you cover. You know, our client here is, is very understanding and um, they have really good insurance, so it wasn't a problem for us. But that's something to think about. And, and these problems scale up as you have more clients and as you have uh, clients with a lot more cameras. You know, if you have a, a site like this with dozens of cameras, one or two will have an issue. And in this case, every camera in the stack, I want to point this out to the, to the Unify haters. We've, had, we've lost three cameras on this 50 camera install. Sounds like a lot, but let me finish. One of them was due to uh, the roof leaking. There was an indoor camera, Hurricane Ian, and we had an indoor roof leak, but all the exterior cameras survived Hurricane Ian. And then the other two died because of a lightning strike within 10 feet. So, uh, you know, this is still a pretty new install, so we'll see what happens in the years to come, but uh, that's, that's a pretty good reputation in my book. Survived yeah. uh, lightning strikes and Ian, so. Yep, no, it's, uh, it was an, an insane event, but just always a reminder for you guys to, you know, double triple check make sure you know what you're doing if you don't contact the right people who do it's the uh, last thing you want to do is try something and that'd be the last time you ever try it again so <laughs> we've uh, we've come close to five feet from uh 
absolute total chaos. So it's uh, take it from us that you know always just you know research what you're doing. Make sure that you have the right resources to do what you need to do. Don't try and risk it just to you know get it done. And I want to point something out here. Uh, some of the you know technology firms there, there is some toxic people on there. So if you're unsure about something, be the idiot. I am the idiot all the time and, and, and sometimes intention, not, not intentionally but like I, be if don't be afraid to ask questions from other people and you're going to yeah. get comments like oh that means you you know if clearly you, the fact that you're asking this question means that you don't know what you're doing it's like yeah that's why i'm asking yeah. you know so if you guys have questions uh comment them down below uh you make it hate but we're going to answer them best we can and it's true um, always happy to take a call. Uh, so if you guys want to call, we'd be happy to do that. Uh, we do offer do consulting, so if it goes more than 15 minutes, we'll, we'll bill you. But if it's less than 15 minutes, happy to talk to you. And, you won't want to stay on the phone with this guy for more than 15 minutes, yeah. so I don't our, think our, it'll our, be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, be the idiot and ask questions. And uh, we're always, you know, the, we always should be the idiot, always trying to learn new things. We're learning new things every single time we do a project, every single time we take a client, always learning something new. So True. Um, but with that, we have to get this switch installed. And yeah, so uh, thank you guys for, for tuning into this kind of little story time vlog. We're going to yeah. go pop this thing in. But yeah, just and they get dinner. I'm starving. Yeah, so. I'm, this was a job well done. Thank you to everyone who is involved. Our guys work really hard to kind of get this done. And thank you guys for, for watching our content. It definitely inspires us to drive the extra mile for sure. It's not always easy powering through a lot of this, but you guys definitely... It's, yeah, it's definitely Help hard run, running a business and a YouTube channel. But. Yeah, and doing your regular job. It's just like a, we got a lot of stuff going on, so the content we try and crank out is, you know, going to be a little bit more for us to do, but we try and always get it done. Should I plug the referral program? Plug the referral program, I guess. I guess. I guess. If you guys know anyone who needs <laughs> IT consulting, head on over to unifiedit.tech. Uh, you can get, I think it's like up to a thousand bucks depending on the project. So, yeah. um, you know, IT consulting is, a, you know, if you know anyone, um, happy to help. So uh, with that, we will catch you guys in the next one. See you.